Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the normal distribution and more specifically I'm going to focus on the anatomy of the normal distribution. Okay, We're not going to get into any fancy functions, probability distribution functions or anything like that. What we're interested in is intuitively understanding the normal distribution. Okay, So first of all, let me draw what these look like. They're bell-shaped, so sometimes they're called the bell-shaped distribution. Okay, so here's a bell, right? Except these tails kind of go on and on forever, theoretically. They get thinner and thinner as they go on to positive infinity and in this direction, negative infinity. But mostly what we're concerned with is what's going on here, or I should say here. Where I have drawn is what we're interested in mostly. Okay. One of the interesting things about normal distributions is that they're symmetric. Okay. So symmetric about the mean. Okay. So whatever mu is, the distri a normal distribution can be flipped over. Let me see if I can. So you can take this guy and flip it on this side and you'll get the exact same picture okay that's what we mean by symmetry about mu okay so this is where the symmetry lies so whatever happens this way is exactly the same this way all right now another thing to understand about normal distributions and probability distributions in general is that the total area under the curve and I'm gonna shade this so you know what I'm talking about the area that I'm shading here which is everything under the curve above the x-axis is equal to 1 or if you like percentages 100 percent and that makes sense all the data is on is under the curve between negative infinity and positive infinity. Okay? Or you could think of it like this. The probability of getting a value in this area here is 1. This is all the possible values over here. Okay? So that's one important thing to get right off the bat that the total probability under the curve is equal to 1. Okay? Now the other thing is, due to symmetry, this, remember with symmetry we just talked about, half of one, half of the total area is on this side, and the other half is on this side, right? These two together add up to one, which is the total, right? So that's very important when you get to the questions on percentage, proportion, and probability. You need to know that 50% of the data is here, 50% is here. In other words, by here I mean here, and 50% is here. Together they equal 1. Okay, this is very important. All right. Another couple interesting things to point out is that, for the normal distribution at least, the mean, median, and mode are at the same point which is the line of symmetry okay so let's talk a little bit more about normal distributions because there's many each is distinguished by its mu and sigma so if you tell me I have a normal distribution with mu and sigma equal to some numbers you just created a unique normal distribution so that's why we have this plural over here normal distributions okay so pick your mu your mean pick your sigma your standard deviation and and if you're told that it's a normal distribution then you just created a unique dis probability distribution okay now the most important and interesting or useful normal distribution that we use 
is called the standard normal distribution. And all statistical tables, or at least all that I know of, use the normal, all normal distributions are tables are use the standard normal distribution. So let me say this is the standard normal distribution. And I abbreviate. The center or the mean of the standard normal distribution is zero. And the standard deviation is equal to one. Okay? So when you have this kind of situation where your mean is zero and your standard deviation is equal to one, you have what's called the standard normal distribution. And sometimes this is also called the Z distribution. Okay? So let me just erase this and also right above it. This is also called the Z distribution. And any table that you do use in calculating normal percentages, normal distribution proportions, normal distribution probabilities are going to be using the normal, the standard normal distribution. Okay? And standard normal distribution means mu is equal to zero, sigma is equal to one. So let's draw this particular normal distribution. It's bell shaped just like all of them. Okay. Its center is mu equals zero. One standard deviation to the right is one. One standard deviation to the left is negative one. Two standard deviations to the right is just two. Two standard deviations to the left is negative two, right? That's one standard deviation, right? So one standard deviation to the right is 1. This is mu. This is mu plus sigma. This is mu plus 2 standard deviations. This is mu minus 1 standard deviation. This is mu minus 2 standard deviations. Right? Good. So that's why we also call it the Z distribution. Remember the Z formula z equals x minus mu over sigma so take any one of these as your x so I selected 1 minus mu which is 0 over sigma which is 1 you'll get 1 over 1 which is 1 and that's how I get 1 here okay so this is the Z distribution. This is a very important distribution. It's the standard normal distribution. <clears throat> Another thing I should point out about distributions is that the general anatomy uh, classification is that, actually maybe I should draw it here, that we call this the body of the distribution, okay? So this is the body. And we refer to these guys as the tails. Okay, so if you hear these words body, but mostly tails, okay, this is what they mean. The body is where close to the center, where most of the data is concentrated, usually. The tails are where the distribution is kind of tailing off okay and less of the data is typically in the tails as you can see from the height of the curve All right so this was an introduction to the normal distributions we talked about the standard normal distribution and the next video you should definitely watch is how to use a normal distribution table and then we get into actual questions with numbers calculating the percentage of data here and there and progressively move on so continue this series of videos on normal distributions I have many examples starting from the most basic up to much more complicated examples make sure to subscribe watch the videos in sequence comment like until next time have a great day